start talking about the cold and I realize I have no bread, no milk, what am I going to do? Uh, toilet paper? Make a sub <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and for the whiskey folks, you'll need that too. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see some snow coming in this weekend. Some spots, though, the rain is going to try to mix in. And we're not quite done with the snow from last night into this morning just yet either. You can see those higher elevations still have that winter weather advisory. This is in effect until 7 o'clock, and we still see a couple snow bands. One, a pretty potent one, stretching from basically Mercer County through Butler County, through Armstrong County, through Indiana County, and there are some uh, moderate to heavier snow showers associated with that little band. Some light snow, just a few flakes trying to move its way into the city. This is going to be breaking up along with the clouds. This is going to allow temperatures to drop even more. And since it's breezy, wind chills are going to become an issue tonight. And wind chill advisories where it could be 10 to 15 below with what it feels like in these shaded counties. That includes the ridges of Westmoreland and Fayette, Somerset County, Indiana, Jefferson, Clarion, and into Venango County as well. Right now, as we look off the action cam towards the Parkway North, 15 degrees outside, feels like minus one right now with those winds out of the northwest at 16 miles per hour. And you can see wind chill minus one here in Pittsburgh, minus eight in Johnstown. But everyone just hovering a little bit above zero at this point. And those wind chills are going to continue to drop along with these temperatures as we're all looking at single digits as we head into the night tonight. 15 right now, Pittsburgh 16, West Mifflin 10 in Deep Creek 12 as you look up into Franklin. So cold any way you look at it. As you look at the radar and satellite, you'll notice that moisture still coming off of Lake Huron, stretching right into those ridges. That's setting us up for some lake effect snow that way. Now, as you look into the northern panhandle of Texas, typically you don't care about the weather here too much, but when it comes down to it, this is the weather that is going to impact the second part of your weekend. We have this system that's going to be building its way in towards us, so expect to see those snow showers developing into Sunday. Now, we get a little break ahead of time thanks to high pressure that's going to meander on by for tomorrow. It'll be cold, but at least we'll see a little sunshine trying to break out. Now, into Saturday night, the clouds fill back in ahead of the system. You notice it features snow, a mix, which could even include freezing rain and rain. And this is going to move in as we get into Sunday morning, 6 a.m., snow showers around. It's going to start off light and then pick up in intensity. Now, we're watching this rain snow line because this is very important as to determining how much snow you're going to see. And you can see that line lifts up, could touch into the city here. So what we're thinking is that areas south of the city are going to see less for snowfall amounts. Areas north of the city are going to see more. The other big thing we watch with these systems is dry air trying to get pulled in behind it because that would usually give you a second wave of snow. And this one looks to be drying out as well. So a winter storm watch is in effect 4 a.m. Sunday till noon Monday. And here's the early estimates for what we're looking at snowfall wise. Along the Mason Dixon line in south, one to three inches, two to four from southern Washington through green. Through the city of Pittsburgh and all of Allegheny County, three to five inches. As you get up into Butler County, four to seven. This includes northern Beaver. And north of that, as you get closer to I 86 to 10 inches, is not out of the question. These numbers could change a little bit, but that's what we're thinking with early estimates for this system. So midnight, 12 degrees, flurries early, skies clearing out, seven when you wake up tomorrow, wind chills below zero. And tomorrow afternoon, 24 degrees, partly cloudy and cold. Clouds increase tomorrow night into Sunday. That's when the snow starts to fly. Again, 29 for a high there. Cold air again behind it. Monday 16, zero. Monday into Tuesday, another shot at snow on Wednesday. And it looks like we are going to take those snow totals to the above average category after we're done with this weekend. Okay.